You're listening to Pink Lady Presents, only on L.A. Talk Radio. I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. I'm gonna take the town and turn it upside down. I'm gonna live, live, live until I die. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Pink Lady Presents. It ain't over till you say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. I just love that. And the reason I do is because at the young age of 86 years, me, are going on to my 87th year, I believe that it isn't over for anyone of any age, as long as you've got the gumption, long as you've got what I call the chutzpah to get out there and do what you want to do in life, it ain't over. That's Am right. I right? And I'm talking to the most handsome, talented gentleman, Robert Hollywood. Hello, Robert. Hello, Pink. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be here with you today. I tell you, I first met you, uh, we were both at a conference. Robbie Mata had this conference in Menifee, California. And we went down, I was one of the uh, keynote speakers, and the highlight of the show were people of talent who were going to sing for the audience. There was, what, about two, 300 people. And out comes this handsome, debonair gentleman. And mm. there you go, yeah, you can do that, because it's true. I kind of like to meet him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky, I'm sitting next to two of them. And you began to sing. And everyone, am I right, Dove? Everyone oh. in that audience was like, wow, you have something special, Robert. Yeah. You what en- you, you have engage is. engage the audience. You do. You really do. Talent and, is there. And we also we saw Robert MC mm-hmm. an event, yes. a different event. Uh, and the talent was absolutely. Oh. One after the other, from right. a little six-year-old kid yeah. <laughs> to uh, a ma- more mature person, right. and everything in between, and in, uh, including people like Alicia Trennan, Tennant, right. who right. has been a guest on the show. Right. Um, and and you just made it all work. Yeah. Thank you. So and you much. had adversity because the, whoever was handling the lighting oh. kept getting <laughs> it wrong. Yeah. And the lights would go off at the wrong time. And, and you on. just you just made it all. Oh yeah, you just worked it well, out. There's always yeah. something. You know? Yeah. I mean, no, right. Something goes wrong all the time. <laughs> That's right. Oh no, no, you do you you did it well. We had a good time, thanks to you. And so so tell I'm me. So happy to have you because it's yeah. a pleasure to engage the audience. That's right. They can tell that I love them. Yeah, Absolutely. And I want the good things for yeah. them. Correct. And so when they start working with me, it's easy to direct them. Do you know what I mean? And really, that's what I am. I'm a producer mm-hmm. and a director because the audience is going to develop a personality. And if you help it, you can yes. kind of develop right. it the right way. Now, where did you develop yourself? How young were you when you started all My this? father played the trumpet during the big band era oh, for many wow. years on the road. Okay. And then got off the road to marry my mom. And they spent 62 years together. I love stories like and that. I, I love and that. I mean, you know, he'd have the music playing, big band music playing, and his fingers going like this. Oh. And I'd be like, Dad, Dad, <laughs> can you hear me, Dad? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to this. Ziggy so and so is going to play something in a minute. Watch. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I knew he loved music, and oh. I kind of developed a love for music because of him. And, yeah. and I said to him one time, I said, Dad, you really love music. Don't you miss being on the road? He said, no, I love, I love playing. Uh-huh. He said, uh, and I love music. He said, I just loved your mother more. Oh, I love And that. I got to watch that my whole life. You know what I mean? How many, that, do you have siblings? Affair. I have one sister. Okay, now yeah. is she musically inclined? No. That's too funny. That, yeah. That but is. we all need an audience, so if she yeah. can't play or sing, <laughs> she can sit and applaud. That's Yay, right. That works Robert, out. Well, she's yeah. a good applauder. I there you go. It. Yeah. <laughs> she can play the radio like nobody's Oh, like nobody. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you were young when you started to. I was or? I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. When okay. I started, um, I was uh, doing you know all the manly sports, uh, uh, football and basketball and martial arts and oh, martial all that arts. kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Where did you grow up? What community? In, in LA? LA. In, in Buena Park. Oh, so He's you're a Californian. You're a and the center you're of the You're the touching him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm touching a real person from California. I'm the real one. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of it, uh, imitators. You're but right. But this is me. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was in high school, and the guys, 
I went to a, uh, an all guy high school. My name's Servite. So the football cro- program was very uh, intense. intense. Oh yeah. The the head coach was from West Point, and oh, he, he ran wow. the whole school like that. Mm. Um, but my friends were like, they knew I I liked physical things, and they were going to do West Side Story, and they said, you know, you could use your fighting stuff, and you know, you could dance, and then we're going to have women from four or five different schools, and I'm like dancing women <laughs> i could do this <laughs> all right let's try it and that's where it started uh-huh. and the choreographer was lynn morris who was one Why, of the original is, yeah she's one of the original gold diggers that's right oh Martin. my lord that's and, right and she's also the choreographer for up with people okay. the international mm-hmm. education i remember group. up with people very yeah. well yeah oh. um and she got me excited about dancing uh-huh. and and she so said, you're a dancer also? Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, well, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it was funny because there was not many people in the ballet class. My sister said, you got to come watch me dance. And so I was like, I, I don't want to come watch you. Please, <laughs> please, please. We <laughs> just, we got to have guys there to watch. Okay. All right. So I, I go and watch. And she's like, you've got to be in the class. We need guys to do lifts and do this. Right. I'm like, I don't want to be in this. Please, please. Yeah. I want to. <laughs> When you only have one sister, you end up in the class. Sure. Oh so my. I came with tights. And, ah, I love know, it. And I was just like, man, what am I doing here? Where are the rest of the guys? <laughs> there are no other guys. I, I remember oh. one of my favorite parts of Chorus Line when the fellow comes out and he says, he went with his sister and she dropped out. He took her shoes and he said, I can do that. <laughs> and they <laughs> built the song around it. That's right. And it was a wonderful number in That's Chorus right. Line. Yeah. And, uh, and it worked out beautifully. So then I started taking dance more seriously okay. first i did ballet and then i did jazz and then partner dancing and then oh my goodness. and then um it turned out a few years later i did the nutcracker in los angeles wow i think prince. we have a picture of, of uh, yeah. you doing the ballet uh-huh. there yeah that, that girl's from the joffrey that i'm holding up in the oh, air really but, oh yeah, my goodness and i was really the weakest dancer i'm <laughs> sure uh, but the great news was the guys were really good dancers and i was Okay. okay, I wasn't fantastic. <laughs> there are other dances I did better, but um, th- this Joffrey girl was about five eleven, and they wanted yeah. her up in the air. You know what I mean? In one of these, right? And the other guys could not get her off the ground. But you did. And ah. so once they could see that I could get her up, they're like, "Let me see you do the dance again." And I heard the producer go, "I could live with that. How about you?" And he said, "Yeah, I could do." <laughs> I love that. And he said, "We'll see you." It Monday. looks like the title of a book. I can live with that. <laughs> you know what? That could that could that, be a yeah. book. <laughs> I, I, I could live mm. with that. So 20 years later, it's, uh, it's, you know, lessons and toured the United States. Uh, Lynn got me to apply for Up With People, and we toured the world for two years. Wow. Now, where did you go with that? What uh, All country? over the United States, okay. uh, all the, the Midwest and the Southern and Florida and all the way up the coast. And then from there, we went to the Canary Islands. Really? And we were there for a while. Then we went to Mallorca. Oh. And then from mm-hmm. there, we took the boat to Spain. And then it went like this across Spain and Portugal for... Do you uh, remember the lyric from Up With People? I mean, I can remember it to this day. Absolutely. And I was in the audience, you okay, know, Up, Up With it? People. We find them wherever they go, Up, Up With People, the nicest people I know. If more people were... More people pe- than people be- everywhere. Where, there'd be more people to something. There'd be a whole lot less people to worry about and a lot oh. more people, people who, who care. care. Oh, wow. Woo, yeah. I, my partner. I, I haven't said that <laughs> in... In 30 years. You want to hear something ironic? Yeah. I yeah. just did a Christmas party mm-hmm. at a nice restaurant in the wine country. Yeah. And uh, it was a private party for a doctor and his employees. Right. And so I said, you know, I'm going to be emceeing tonight. And if you have anything you want to hear, please let me know. I'm happy to play requests. I'll be singing some things, right. yada, yada, yada. And one person that had a lot of personality, a Marine, and I love the Marines. Oh, yeah. Because I work with veterans a lot. I know right. you do, too. Thank yes. you. Thank you for that. Anyway, this guy had a lot of personality at the beginning, so I could tell he was going to be a handful. And he said, I have a request. Okay, beautiful. What can I play for you? And he said, like, as if he was going to stump me, I would like to hear Up With People. Uh And I was like, are you serious? (laughs) And he said, yes, I am. He said, "I, I request that. Nobody has. I said, why are you requesting that? He said, because I toured with the group. In 60, 67, 68, 69. Oh, my Lord. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. I said, so did I. What? He couldn't uh, believe uh, it. Uh, Somebody else. Now, yeah. I, I toured 
10, 15 years later. Right. Right. But it's the same group. Sure. You know what I mean? And uh, he was shocked, <laughs> you know. And um, and I told him, have you ever been to any of the alumni reunions? They're fantastic. Right. They have reunions. Oh my goodness! So I'm didn't connecting them. No, That's no wonderful. clue. So I'm Great. connecting them with because yeah. I I told them I know your cast is looking for you online, yeah. and they're having reunions. Yeah. And then there's a reunion at the main office that they have every yeah. year. You got to come. I can remember. I mean, there was the cleanest cut bunch of when we think of candidates for the academies today. Um, it's the caliber. Aww. Every they gave a hundred percent. Every nobody ever phoned it in. I mean, I can't remember seeing a performance where it wasn't a hundred percent spot on. Right. Because every performance, every note mattered to those kids. Sure did. Oh, well, was yeah. it all all young people? Yeah. Is that what yeah. it was? It was between okay. eighteen and twenty six. Oh wow. Was the age group that you yeah. could apply, and they would look. They would talk to fifteen thousand people a year, yeah. and they would take four hundred and sixty five. From oh fourteen my. different countries, really, yeah. and it was called up, up with, people. with people. Up with people. See, I we, don't yeah. we have to find out who the person is in L.A. If they're involved in a reunion or coordination, and we know it's coming a couple of months before that, have them on the show. Oh, wouldn't that be come great? on back and, yeah. and the two of you promote that yeah. program? Yeah, we'd be happy to do that. I would that love that, to that do would it. be yeah. great yeah. because it. there are our alumni out there that don't know. Well, how did sure. you hear about reunions. that through this? lady that you're talking uh, well, in high school yeah. she oh. choreographed one high school a year and that year it. she picked our school <gasps> oh my so it was it was destiny oh, you know yeah. what i mean because mm. i had no clue i had no desire to go on the road right singing and dancing i i, I was trying to get a football scholarship and i did mm-hmm. um and i had to put up with people off for a couple of years but it was reluctantly I mean, I was just missing them every year that I wasn't there. I'd see my friends on the road or doing Super Bowl half times or whatever. And um, but I went to college. Did you go to college? Yeah, I went to college with a football scholarship. Oh my goodness! Now that was they. You must have been really good because for them to put off your scholarship while you went on the road. Well, uh, they were very kind and generous. I mean, really. Really, really kind. Mm-hmm. Ralph Caldwell was the gentleman, one of the founders with Blanton Belk and his, and then Ralph's two other brothers uh, that founded the whole organization. That's who did my interview. I had no mm-hmm. idea who he was. They oh. just said, oh, there's a gentleman over there. He's going to do your interview. Okay. okay. Hi, what's your name? Oh, I'm Ralph. Oh, hi, Ralph. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. And he was so genuine and sincere, and he asked me you know, about what my aspirations were right. and all that kind of thing. And, of course, entertainment was one of them. But athleticism was one of them yeah. too, sure. and um, and then they sent me a letter that said you're you got you're it. in, and I was wow. just like, what? So huh? what college was that? At the University of San Diego. Oh my goodness! Okay. And yeah. you went four years. It was a beautiful school. I was there with the coach, and then I my uh, for f- for four years in high school at the West Point program at <laughs> Servite, um, I had a linebacker that was always behind me. I would take care of him. He would take care of me. We went to college together. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! But That's he wasn't nice. in the game one time, and somebody clipped me, and the the oh. linebacker that was there did not take care of me, oh. and so they took my knee out. And oh, so th- that's that when that's when it was like. And so I went to the doctor, and he said, "This is not a good idea for you to con- continue, continue playing." I oh, said, "Well, boy. what about dance and martial arts?" Yeah, you could probably do that. I said, then that's what I'm going to do full time. Oh, wow. Insane. What destiny. Yeah. I mean, how that happened. Well, you know, the good Lord is very kind to us yes. and very generous. And uh, if we don't go the way he wants <laughs> us, he just slaps us down <laughs> hard. I'm like, oh, sorry. You know, you know. okay, I guess I'm going this way then. Right. Well, then, you know what? I want you all to not only see this handsome man that you're seeing today, but I want you to hear him. So we're going to hear your first song. Oh, wonderful. Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is this on? I don't know. Let's take a look. (laughs) Okay, here I am. (laughs) What a pleasure to be here. La última 
Pésame, pésame mucho Que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después Pésame, pésame mucho Pésame, pésame mucho Te tengo miedo a perderte, verte después Quiero tenerte muy cerca, mirarme en tus ojos, estar junto a ti que tal vez mañana yo estaré lejos, muy lejos de ti. Oh, my love, if you would leave me, all of my dreams would take wing and my life would be through. So love me, love me my darling, please say you love me and make all of my dreams come true. Pésame, pésame mucho Que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después Que tengo miedo a perderte Ay, cariño, bésame, bésame, amor mío, bésame. Wow, Robert, that is, that's really sexy, lady. A little isn't romance it? Yeah, for our real audience. romance. I love it. I love <laughs> you it. You gotta have romance in your life. Oh right? yes. That's oh right. yes. <laughs> and I look at, at you two. I look at you two, and I'm like, no, oh, they are going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, now you performed for royalty. Tell yeah. us about that. I mean, that, and, and then uh, you do it all over the world. I mean, the, then the other thing I read that you it said you took 14 tons of equipment, a different town every three days. How did you do that? Uh, <laughs> I wish I could say it was me, but there was 114 of us. Oh, yeah. in the oh that helped. That, that helps a lot helps. Yeah, <laughs> to lift the 14 tons of equipment. <laughs> Because it took three hours to set up. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of equipment. But it was so very interesting just to be in a different town, in a different culture, with different languages. We sang in 14 languages. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Swedish, Norwegian, Spanish, Greek, Yugoslavian. I mean, and we were in the costumes oh, I of love the country. That. Oh, that doing is Doing nice. their dance, yeah. Oh, so wow. We're, we're doing their song with their costume in their language. I think that is fabulous. It was an international show. Oh, my God. Know. And who was in charge of that show? Uh, Blanton Belt okay. was uh, the gentleman that was the... Put it all together? Yes. Wow. And you did oh. that for how long? Uh, two years. And then I went back when they would call me for special occasions. Oh. 
Uh, we did uh, we did a couple of Super Bowl half times together. Oh, I love that. Uh, oh, wow. Incredible. We know somebody else who was on the Super Bowl with a commercial. Commercial. Wow. Oh, that's right. Ah, ah, right. 2015, wow. it was the yeah. Pink Lady. Yeah, it was that a, it was, is Oh, great. that was fun. Uh, that was fun. And the cutest story is that when, you know, actually when you do a commercial, uh, you have to uh, have rehearsals and everything. Sure. And they looked at me after they said, we really like you. And they, like a bunch of, they were like 18 to 22. I mean, they were young, really talented directors and producers of this show. And they went, um, <clears throat> we want to ask you, like, we see your energy now, but can you, like, have this energy, you know, like for eight, ten hours? And I looked at them and I said, excuse me. I said, at this stage in my life, I take 28 vitamins a day. <laughs> I said, so you know what? I know I can do it. Just give me the chance. And then when the show, uh, when we did it, and after it was over, the director said, you gave, I was, shall we say, the eldest in the group. And he said, you gave everyone such energy by your energy that it just osmosed to all of us. And they had a great time. I loved it. Your energy is it. contagious for yes. sure. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank when we you. had you speak at the place, it was I was like, oh, that is an incredible woman. You know what <laughs> I mean? Thank you, thank you. I know you. it's a recognition of the obvious, but I, it's still. It was fun. And, mm -hmm. and like you, it's like, to me, something that I get up in the morning to do. And I know that that's the way you are. That's right. But let me ask you, what keeps you going, Robert? I mean, really, what, well, what, what makes Robert tick? Um, well, I have children. Ah, so how many? Two. Uh, one is 22. Is a going to be a paramedic fireman. Oh, wow. And then Great. one is 15. Yeah. 15 will keep you going. Yeah. <laughs> 15 uh, going on 30. No, <laughs> my daughter, Jazzy, is 15. My son, Robbie, is 22. Uh, and Jazzy thinks she's, you know, 19 or 21 already. <laughs> I love it. So it's like easy, yeah. easy. You'll get there soon enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that keeps me going. You know, contributing to my community yes. is really important. That's some of the things we do with Robbie. Yes. You know, Robbie and I do a lot of uh, shows. She came onto a yacht about 18 years ago that I was producing a show on. Oh, that's how you met? Yes. I love that. It was a three-story, um, $14 million yacht. Oh, it was my. gorgeous. Wow. Just three stories of living luxury. And so I was producing the show, and um, there were a lot of vendors and regular people on. Right. And then I saw these ladies coming on with boas and crowns and I'm like oh my god here we go <laughs> here it. come the crazy ones you know but they were so fun when I said dance they dance when oh. I said sing, sing, and we just had the best time together mm -hmm. and then Robbie came to me and she said you know we we are the divas and I said look how surprised I am <laughs> yeah yeah oh, she yeah. said well you're you have to be our first man diva oh, oh okay so oh, I, be, I became the first man diva <laughs> right <laughs> and so for 18 years I've been doing shows for women's groups like the National Association of Female Executives. Right, right. Right. There's lots of women's groups that Robbie's attached to. And there's two or three hundred women and me. Right. <laughs> and when we do the big national shows, like we did one at the Ritz Carlton in Laguna. Oh really? And there oh. was seven hundred women <gasps> and, and you <laughs> You poor thing. Uh, oh you know yeah. what I mean? Somebody Gonna has get to the do it. That's yeah, right. Yeah. The sacrifice <laughs> But just call Robert Hollywood, that's the, that's and he'll of, make the sacrifice. That's the kind of guy I am. I understand. <laughs> I and I called every man I knew and said, you got to come down. There's so many intelligent, beautiful, dynamic women here. And a lot of them are single, I know. Yes. I know, though, yeah. yeah. And so we had a party, and it was, I mean, we, we did four days together, oh, wow. you know, there. But at, when we had parties, like we had a chocolate decadence party, <laughs> where chocolate martinis and chocolate oh, on the table. Me. No. Oh and so the sugar was flown, and so was the alcohol. <laughs> and I had the CEO of the company on the on the floor, you know, doing this, the one of those Dan Aykroyd oh, things in the circle. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was it was a lot of fun. Oh my! Now, do you have um, any gigs coming up that you would like, perhaps, people to know about and come to see you? Sure. Because we would love to promote that. Like, Thank what's you. coming up in the next? Uh, Thank you so much. In 2019, uh, what, yeah. what do you have on the schedule? 2019, we've got a couple of more. We're doing uh, things with Robbie. Good. You know, yeah. uh, we've been doing those 18 years together. Mm -hmm. and so, by the way, the Robbie we're talking about is a wonderful lady named Robbie, Robbie Motter, Motter, and she has sat 
in that chair right. and been a guest on this program. I can feel so it. So yeah. if you go the on there. to PinkLadyPresents.com yeah. and scroll down, you'll find Robbie Motter, and you can see her for yourself. And one thing about Robbie, and I know that <laughs> Robert will back me up, Robbie is not only a very bright woman and uh, a brilliant in putting people together, but there's a woman that cares about the people that she works with. That's I right. mean, really care. You, <coughs> she adores. She said, that's my son. <laughs> and I'm, I'm I love her second that. Son. Yeah. That's what she says. Yeah. I love that. She does. She really, she does events like I do from her heart. Yes. If it's going to make sense, if it's going to benefit someone, like, you know, we do a lot of things for veterans. Uh, we do a lot of things for women, for kids, for animals. We just, it has to have a purpose, a purpose. that's bigger than uh, entertainment. Um, I'd like the to know, first of all, do you have a place that you're saying for the next you know, month or two that you'd like people to go to? The events that we're doing are uh, farther than a month away. Okay. But they can always, you know... Uh, do you have a my, website? Yeah, they can go to roberthollywood.com. Okay. Or they can go to uh, 949-698-2975. Let's and repeat that number again. It's a 949 949- Six nine eight two nine seven five. That's my direct cell phone. That's the bad boy that okay. lives with me all the time. <laughs> and, you know? and whenever you have something three, four months down the road, let us know. Because and we'll just tell we, everybody we, on we'll, the show. We'll promote as much as we can because you're part of the family. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, I really appreciate well, that. We, so we I think you. I think we're ready for the impossible. Well, <laughs> you know, the impossible you and I do easy. Uh, it just takes a little work. That's all. <laughs> okay. Rob, this thing. Oh. Well, hold on a second. You get it? Yeah. We we, we have yeah. technical things. Since this is live, there you're you seeing go. us how we do things. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Back at the <laughs> ranch. <laughs> but aren't you all lucky? Because today you're actually seeing yeah. a real God-given Thank talent, so Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is just a reminder that, you know, things seem difficult. And there are things in life that are difficult. But you can't stop. You have to get up. You have to keep going. You know what I mean? And that's the song is dedicated to you all. But keep getting up. You have to. It looks impossible. It's not. You can do it. Any of these people, you see it done. It's impossible. Ask the sun to leave the sky It's just impossible It's impossible Ask a baby not to cry It's just impossible Can I hold you Closer to me and not feel you going through me Split the second that I never think of you Oh, how impossible Can the oceans keep from rushing to the shore It's just impossible If I had you, could I ever want for more? It's just impossible. And tomorrow, should you ask me for the world, somehow I'd get it. I would sell my very soul and not regret it. For to live without your love is just impossible Can the oceans keep from rushing to the shore? It's just impossible If I had you, could I ever want for more? 
It's just impossible And tomorrow If you ask me for the world Somehow I get it I would sell my very soul And not regret it For to live without your love Is just impossible 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 Thank you. Uh, dear audience, when I tell you that it's never, ever too late to do what you want to do and continue to do what you want to do, believe me, as you see from all the people that we have here of lives well lived, people that are living their life, making others happy. And that's what you're doing, Robert Thank Hollywood. You. You're Thank making, you. you're giving people a joyous, entertaining time because you are making it happen and you realize that it's not over till you say it's over. God and, bless you. And also, uh, I want to remind people to get your book because uh, you were kind enough to let me read a copy and I shared it with my mother oh. who's 92 oh. and she is doing what you're saying to do. She's I love it. She's living her life and loving it. And that's get up. Get out and get a life. That's right. <laughs> come on. Come with us. Yeah. <laughs> God bless everyone. Thank you. We'll be back.